Hi, my name is Ben. I'm a track and field cross country runner for NJIT. Uh, each and every day, uh, people run as far as exercise, uh, sports, daily activities, and there, there's actually a right and wrong way how to run. Uh, most of the people actually do the wrong way. Um, the wrong way uh, limits your energy to a point where you can't maximize your full potential as far as working every part of your body. And the right way is limiting your energy to a certain point and maximizing the full body to a point where every muscle is worked. I'm here to show you in this video. Before we get into actual running, there's actual wrong and right type of running shoes. The wrong types of running shoes consist of basketball shoes, converses, boots, and sandals. Anything that falls into that category is consistent as a wrong running shoe. Also, if a running shoe doesn't support your arc, then I suggest do not get that running shoe because you can be prone to injuries to your knees, your ankles, your shins, or even the foot itself, and it can cause permanent damage. Okay, this is a, a general type of running shoe. Uh, the general type of running shoes always would have an arc. An arc is a support of the ball of your feet so when you land on your foot you're not landing directly on your heel to prevent injuries as far as the shooting up towards your ankles and your knees. The foot's arc is probably one of the most important aspects of running and controls form, posture, and balance while in running form. When running there's a rolling motion at the ball of your feet and it basically keeps you in a constant motion to conserve energy rather than stopping and going that basketball players do or just kind of walking and like jolting the converses or boots do. So now that we have the right type of shoe to run in to prevent injury, let's hit the track. When you start your running stride, you will want your arms down in a low and comfortable position to minimize the amount of energy in the process. This is how marathoners and long distance runners maintain energy in a vast race. The next step is, while running, you would want your knee of your lead leg up for perfect running posture and your trail leg extended to the max to get full recovery in the momentum of your stride. The last and most important part of running efficient is your foot landing. Resist landing on your heel and concentrate more on the falling on the ball of your foot where the arc is located. Doing this correctly results in a continuous smooth rolling motion that saves energy for when your body begins to grow tired. After putting all these steps together, along with stretching techniques shown here, you finally learn the correct and healthy way to run. Be safe. Now that we have gone over the main steps of running, have a good time running. And remember, always enjoy your running experience and stay injury free.